We're now moving on to our next unit called exponent laws. So the first law is multiplying exponents, and there's a really simple trick. So if we have a to the power of m times a to the power of n, well, the a is what we call the base, and m is the exponent or the power. So when the bases are the same, in this case they are a and a, you just write down the base, which is a, and then the exponents or the powers we add them together, so m plus n. So we have m plus n. So let's try a couple examples. So in our first example here, we have x squared times x to the power of 3. Well, the bases are x's, so we're going to write down our base, which is an x, and our power is a 2 and a 3. We need to add those together, so 2 plus 3 is 5. There is another way to do this which might make a little more sense, but it's a little longer. So if we have x squared times x to the power of 3. x squared is the same thing as saying x times x. So we have x times x. Then this multiplication, I'm just going to change colors. x to the power of 3 is the same as saying x times x times x. So it's x times itself three times. So x times x times x. Well, let's count this up. We have x times itself 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which is the same as saying x to the power of 5. So x squared is the same as x times x. x to the power of 3 is the same thing as x times x times x. And when we count it up, it's 5. We don't have to go through this work each time. We could just simply add the exponents to get the exact same answer. All right, so I'm just going to move this up. And we're going to try this example here. So now we have coefficients or numbers out in front of the letters. So when we have that, we just multiply the numbers together. So we have 2 times 5. Well, 2 times 5 is simply 10. You write down 10. Now we're going to deal with the exponent part. I have y squared times y to the power of 4. The base is the y, so I write down y and I add the exponent, so 2 plus 4 is 6. So my answer is simply 10y to the power of 6. I have one last example to do. So my last example here, it's a little different. I have a negative out in front, but that doesn't make any difference. So if I had negative 5 times positive 4, well, that gives me negative 20. Now when I look at my exponents, I have z and there's no number up here. So when there's no number, we always assume in mathematics it's a 1. So z is the same thing as z to the power of 1. So now let's deal with that part. My base is z, so I write that down. And I have 1 plus 5 gives me 6. 